A tragedy can happen in seconds. It didn't happen here because he knew how to swim to survive. The Swim to Survive program was developed by the Life Saving Society, a national charitable organization working to prevent drowning and water-related injury. The Society's Swim to Survive program teaches the three basic skills needed to survive an unexpected fall into deep water. The first Swim to Survive skill is a roll into deep water. A fall into water is disorienting and a threat to normal breathing. This role simulates a fall and teaches children how to orient themselves at the surface after an unexpected entry. Initially, instructors teach participants to crouch at poolside with feet at the edge. They cover the backs of their heads with their hands and tuck chin to chest with elbows close to the body. With a deep breath, the children roll into the water away from the poolside. When they surface, the children lift their heads to take a breath and return to the side of the pool. The second swim to survive skill is to tread water for one minute. The ability to tread water allows children to support themselves at the surface. They can protect their airway while regaining control of their breathing and taking time to decide what to do next. At first, the children practice in chest deep water. Their hands and arms sweep back and forth just below the surface. Then they move into deeper water and use their arms and legs together. The third swim to survive skill is a 50 meter swim to safety. The instructor directs the children to enter waist deep water, maneuver into a horizontal body position either on their front or back with their head in or out of the water whichever they feel most comfortable with. The children propel themselves forward using any method they like, any stroke, any kick is acceptable. It's not about style, it's all about going the distance. Once the children have mastered each of the three swim to survive skills, they put them together in sequence, just like it might be needed in real life. Together, the three skills prepare a child to survive an unexpected fall into deep water, an important first step to being safe around water. All children should learn to swim. The Life Saving Society strongly encourages parents to enroll their children in swimming lessons. If every child learned to swim, or at least learned how to swim to survive, the number of drownings could be dramatically reduced. For more information on Swim to Survive, visit your local pool or go to lifesavingsociety.com.